Okay, we are officially recording. Um, as it's turning six o'clock and I see a few, few more attendees jumping in, um, I'm gonna let the clock tick for another couple seconds before I begin, but uh, the first thing I wanted to point out is that this is being recorded and will be uploaded to our district website. So anybody that has watched tonight can re-watch this at another time. Anybody that wasn't with us tonight can watch it anytime between now and the start of the school year next fall. Um, I want to introduce myself. My name is Mark Schwartz. I'm the principal here at Levi Leonard Elementary School. That's our K2 building. I'm also the 4K coordinator and I, I help with uh, the enrollment and registration process for the upcoming 4K school year. Um, I try to support different the four different sites in any way I can throughout the, the year and um, make adjustments as needed and, and support teachers and students as needed along the way. Tonight's webinar, the main purpose and our largest focus is going to be really identifying the big difference between enrolling children for the upcoming school year with the Evansville Community School District, which essentially is just becoming part of our database. So we know how to contact parents. We know how to get more information to you. We know who to ask when we have questions and we know how to get our information to you so you can ask us questions. That's the enrollment piece. I'll, I will share my screen in a bit and, and speak to that. Um, many families that might be in attendance tonight have, have already done that step, um, but I, I will go through that one to ensure that we're all there. That's step one. The next step is the registration process, and that's less to do with contact information and us having, having your child in our district database. It's got more to do with being specific about enroll, getting set up for 4K next fall specifics like, um, do you need a bus? Do you attend daycare? Um, there's morning and afternoon sessions. Those are the types of specifics we'll talk about. So I'll go into greater detail it, throughout this webinar on those things. Um, I'll also share some details about 4K programming, You know, some things about curriculum and what you can expect in 4K. Um, certainly classroom teachers will go into greater detail as the school year begins and, and and so on, but um, I'll touch on that a bit as well. There is a chat option at the bottom of your screen. If you have any questions along the way, um, please don't hesitate to throw them out. Um, as I'm sharing my screen, I may or may not be able to see your chat questions. So I'm gonna ask for some help with that. Um, and I'm gonna introduce Mindy in a bit. She might help with me with that. Um, but many of the questions that will probably arise are things I'm going to touch on throughout. So if you are asking those questions toward the tail end after I start sharing things on our district web page, that, that's kind of an indicator that we're reaching that point of, uh, of nearing the end. And if I haven't touched on your question, that would be a great time to ask. And, and I'll go through those questions at the very end. Um, I'd like to start out with some introductions and, and teachers and owners, I'm gonna have you give a wave so they can see your smiling faces. Um, the Evansville Community School District partners, partners with some local daycare providers to provide 4K services throughout the community. Um, we have four awesome teachers and four very experienced teachers at our 4K sites and I want to introduce you to them as well as the owners and, and a couple other people also at Kids Corner which is on Fair Street in our Grove campus, which is attached to our K2 building, our 3-5 building and our district office. Carrie Burkhalter is our 4K teacher. And Jamie Fellows is the owner of that, day, uh, that daycare site. Magic Moments, which is located on Church Street, just down the block a ways as part of the Congregational Church. Tina Harnick is both the owner and the teacher. I can see her up there in my upper left corner. Um, Pathway Preschool is on 3rd Street across the street from Levi Leonard, and that's Nikki Soto, both the owner and the teacher. And Wee Ones is on Porter Road that backs up to the West Side Park. Tanya Williams is the teacher, and Leanne Halla is the owner. Couple other names I wanted to mention is Wendy Benkert, who is not on your screen at this time. If you've seen flyers, if you've received emails or seen Facebook posts or something on our district website with the number 882-3384, we've got some banners that are gonna be posted around the community. If you see that phone number, Wendy Benkert is our, our school district registrar. And if you dial that number, she can answer any questions along the way. She's super helpful and, and helps 
helps families to get enrolled with the district and, and can help with the registration process as well. Um, Mindy Larson, give us a wave, Mindy. She's my admin assistant here at Levi Leonard, and um, I'm not gonna mention her telephone number, that just will confuse things with all the numbers I've already mentioned, but um, she's a big part of this, this entire process as well. So anytime you call Levi Leonard, Mindy can answer questions and, and be real helpful as well. She's a, a large, large part of the registration process that I'm about to dig into. Before I do that though, I just wanted to let you know that 4K is available to to any child that's four years old by September 1st of 2021. Um, I've had a few questions, I've fielded a few questions through the years about, well, um, my child is only, misses that cutoff date by five days is all. Can, can we make some arrangements? And I'm sorry, the answer is no. That's a, that's a state and DPI um, mandate that we follow. And, and so, so our hands are tied with that. The, the children must be four years old by September 1st. What I want you to know about each site is just like, um, just like throughout the Evansville Community School District, we have a guaranteed and viable curriculum and the same opportunities for kids at each site, great teachers at each site. Um, if, you're, if you're looking across fourth grade, what the curriculum, the resources, the scope and sequence, what kids learn, that looks the same across each classroom. And we do the same thing in 4K. So whichever site your child attends, you can, you can be guaranteed that they'll be getting the same things. Um, to touch on some of those 4K details that we'll certainly go into greater detail on down the road as we get near to the school year, um, our curriculum is very much a play-based learning. Um, there, there's fun lessons and learning stations that will incorporate the math and, and um, English, reading, language arts, that kind of thing throughout, throughout their learning stations. Um, we place a high priority on students socializing and the socialization that prepares them for 5K um, and, and, and learning what it means to be a member of a class so they have that smooth transition into a full day 5K setting. Our math resources are bridges, which is great because the bridges resources are very much hands-on manipulatives. Our staff has had training in, the, in that in recent years. Um, from 4K, we use that same resource in 5K, first grade, all the way up through fifth grade. So they're getting off to a great start and it will seem very familiar as they transition into to full day 5K. Um, the, one of the things each teacher at each site will do is give the PALES um, phonemic awareness screener and that's a requirement of the state as well. That's something we do in kindergarten, first and second grade. So that too flows um, right from 4K on to second grade. And what we do with that information is we identify exactly where students are. And that drives our, our, our lesson planning, drives our instruction, and we want to um, meet students right where they are and, and meet their needs. And so that, that screener helps us to understand where students are with letters, sounds, and so on. Um, upon placement that, that families will become aware of in August, classroom placement will be, will be made available to families in August. Teachers are gonna to touch on snack times, field trips, schedules. Right now we don't have a calendar in place for the up and upcoming school year that's being worked on. The, the district calendar and the 4K calendar um, coincides with that. Um, but all those, all those logistics, students at each site will have the same opportunities and in many cases, in the past have worked together, um, maybe either on field trips or family outreach opportunities where um, there's some, some opportunities for, for students and families to connect with teachers and maybe even students from other grade levels. This has certainly been a, new, a unique year with COVID, but we've got a lot of reason for optimism going into next year. Um, so those are details you'll learn more about as, you, as we identify your child's classroom and teacher, and, and, and we'll dig into those details a bit more. Um, the 4K schedule is Monday through Thursday every week, and there are two sessions. There's an AM session from 8 in the morning to 11. There's a PM session from 12 to 3. Um, in a bit, I'm going to show families how they can they can show us their preference. Um, I'll do that as part of the registration process as well. Um, on a rare occasion, if there isn't school on a Monday because there's professional development or something else going on, sometimes that schedule shifts and that Monday has re been re is replaced on a Friday, but that's not very often. Uh, busing is available to all 4K students, regardless of where they live. They can live right in town and still receive busing. That's an option. I'll show you how to make us aware of 
of that as well. Um, and the, those things will be assigned after classroom placements are in place. But like I mentioned earlier, the main purpose for tonight's webinar is to talk about the enrollment process and the registration process. And again, enrollment is simply getting your information to the Evansville Community School District so we know how to get info to you and we know that your child is eligible for 4K. The registration process is more specific to what will happen next fall. Um, do you prefer AM or PM? Do you, will you need busing, that type of thing. So at this time, I'm gonna share my screen and talk you through these processes. Jamie, I can see you on my screen. Will you give me a thumbs up if you can see our district main page? Perfect, thank you. So this is our Evansville Community School District main front page of our website at ecsdnet.org. And if you scroll to the middle of that page, you can see very clearly we've placed a high priority on the 4K enrollment registration information that we work with this time of year. So if you click on that, it will take you right to a 4K page, which you can also access through the Levi Leonard section. But it's probably this time of year easiest to just click on it from the, the, the home page. And there are so there is some information down here. It lists the sites I spoke about. Um, down here is the handbook for, for this current year that will be updated as students attend school for the upcoming year. But to enroll, and many families are familiar with uh, the phrase I'm going to use, family access, that's our database that helps us to identify that your child is ready for 4K. To enroll, step one, you'll click right here. And when you do that, it will actually be a two-step process. Down here, it lists a few things that we will need eventually, but at this time, we're going to click on the ECSD new student enrollment. As time goes on, Wendy Benkert will ask you for some of this information, but to start the process, move to new student enrollment. And when you get there, those of you, those of you who have children that are older than your upcoming 4K, or this may look familiar, but it's just a, an opportunity to list your first and last name, um, email addresses, so on, and as you go through the process, we'll get birth dates and so on. Again, that's part of our district database, so we know your child, is ready for 4K and we know how to contact you. That is step one. Step two, if you've completed that, I'm gonna share my screen again. Step two, we're back at the district main page. And again, what you would do is click on 4K enrollment and registration information. Step two would be to register online. And this just became available to families today. You can access it after our meeting tonight. You can access it anytime right up into the, into the early months of the summer. So if you click here to register, I'd like to show you what that looks like on a different screen. Sorry, I'm jumping around a bit. Jamie, give me a thumbs up if you can see the ECSD 4K registration. Thank you. When you click on register, it's going to ask for some information very specific to next fall's 4K. Again, your email address, the name of your child. As you jump down here, it asks about a virtual option. And I just want to speak to that for a second. Um, I would say our teachers in 4K all, all the way right through 12th grade have knocked it out of the park this year with our virtual option. But I really, I really believe there's no substitute for that in-person learning, um, especially the younger students get. Um, I don't know at this time whether we will have a virtual option next fall. Again, there's some reason for optimism um, with our current situation next fall. I don't know the answer to whether we'll have 4K virtual options next fall. 
Um, but if we do, it would be nice to know if families are thinking about that. Um, again, I do believe our in-person option is a, is a very, very viable option. Um, it moves on and it asks about where your child might attend daycare, or you could click on no, my child would not need wraparound care. It asks your preference versus the AM session, three hour session or the PM three hour session, or maybe you choose, no, I have no pr preference. Busing is available to all 4K students. Please let us know if yes, you think they may need busing or no, they wouldn't. And this doesn't mean there and back. It doesn't mean either or, it could be any combination. And then it comes down to your site preferences. In the past, we've had what's called see the sites night where families and some of you that have older siblings at home, um, where families get around and see the different sites. With COVID, we weren't able to do that. But at the same time, I'm confident in telling you that what we offer at each site is the same, the same curriculum, the same opportunities for all kids with amazing teachers at each. So um, many times this is based on geography, many times it's based upon busing or daycare, but I've asked for first site preference, um, second preference to site, and third preference. Um, in most cases, we're able to accommodate either the first or second preference, um, but that, that helps us to identify how to proceed going forward. Following that, and some of you might have remembered in the past, meeting in the TRIS library and getting a large packet of health information and other documents to fill out and leave behind. This is all in place of this. So we're hoping we're much more efficient this year. Um, this is about health information, and I won't read it verbatim, um, but certainly there are boxes to check, whether it be listing health conditions or no health conditions gives you opportunities to explain a little further. Health information and medicine, um, health care provider information that would be relevant to what we do here and we would need to know. Um, when you begin the fall, at 4K providers will probably have some similar information that's required of their state licensing body. And when you begin that, you'll get some paperwork from them and you'll probably get some in the mail and some will be handed out the first day of school. But what you just saw on our screen for the registration process is what the Evansville Community School District needs in order to place you, your child in a class for the fall. Um, and Mindy, um, I'm just wondering if you've noticed any chat questions along the way. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do next, and I think that the, the single biggest thing families are probably wondering after seeing all that is, okay, what do I do next? And um, that's what I want to share on my screen for the last time. So next steps for families. Many of you can check this off your list, but enroll with the ECSD. As I, as I showed you that document, and that will get you set up with an account for family access. There is that phone number we mentioned earlier. You've seen it in pamphlets. You'll see it on banners. That's Wendy's number if you have any questions. But um, if you are set up with the ECSD, just know that we can contact you and share any information or ask any questions we have along the way. Step two would be to register for the upcoming school year. That's where I had the questions about busing, about AM, PM, about health forms. Um, that too is right there. And step three is simply to expect some communication from us um, anywhere from March to August and probably several of those months along the way. In August, we'll eventually reach a point where we say your child has been assi assigned to this site for this session, AM or PM. Um, in the meantime, we'll connect with you and, and just ask any questions as needed, but that's what you can expect going forward. So at this time, what I, would, I, I wanted to do is field any questions that come our way. I would, my, my goal was to answer as many as I could before we got there, so I'm hoping I, I was clear on those things. Um, any of the staff, if you have anything you'd like me to clarify or any questions um, you suspect a family might be wondering, uh, now would be a great time.
The piece I want uh, families to know the most, whether they're watching us live or clicking on later, is this information will be accessible through our district website for months to come. Um, the little tutorial I gave on my screen, uh, the links are available. Um, in the past several years, we have continued to add 4K students right through the summer as, as we learn of new families. So it's, it's a fluid process and it's ongoing and it does take us right up um, into and, and through the summer as we're doing that. I, I do see some chat questions here. Okay. Um, question one, is there any anything special required for kids or families who live outside the Evansville School District? Um, Yes, and, and actually back at that page, the district page where you saw the 4K information, as soon as you click on that 4K site, um, what you will soon see is open enrollment information and links as well. Again, 882-3384 is Wendy Benkert and she is our open enrollment expert. Um, that will be right there on the website or feel free to contact Wendy. Um, Will my daughter ride the same bus as my fourth grader? Um, I think that's, yes, quite likely. It will be based upon routes and, and locations and geography and so on. Uh, another question was asked about um, when will we find out where, where the child's been placed so we can choose a daycare? Um, what I would, what I will do, what Mindy and I will work together on is identify families that say they plan to attend a daycare and we try to coordinate accordingly. Um, that's why the enrollment piece is so important so we can communicate with families along the way. Um, another question, does my home address matter? If you don't live within, if you do not live within the Evansville Community School District, that would be another open enrollment question for Wendy. We, cer we certainly accept and, and um, encourage open enrollment. That's just uh, that's something you'll see on that 4K page after you click on it or call 882-3384 and Wendy can get you set up. Those are all the chat questions I'm seeing at this time. Um, my last uh, my last message for you is simply don't hesitate to give me a call here at school or or email, um, contact Mindy at the school, or contact Wendy with any questions. Um, we want to be as, as available to answer those as possible, and uh, I appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Thank you. Although I just said thank you, I did see one that came up. I have a, I'm seeing a couple questions. The four, who runs the 4K sites again? I can run through that real quickly. I, I, um, we have Carrie Burkhalter is the teacher at Kids Corner and Jamie Fellows is the owner. Tina Harnick is the teacher and owner at Magic Moments. Nikki Soto is the teacher and owner at Pathway. And Tanya Williams is the teacher at Wee Ones and Leanne Halla is the owner. I think that answers them all. Um, again, don't hesitate to call or check out this recorded version at another time. Thanks so much. Have a great night.